Plant a Pocket of Prairie by Phyllis Root, illustrations by Betsy Bowen. And this book was actually signed by the author. I heard her read the book at the Walker. And this book is dedicated for everyone who works to save our wild plants and places. Once, prairie stretched for thousands of miles, an ocean of flowers and grasses, a sea of sky, home for bison and elk, prairie chickens, burrowing owls, five-lined skinks, plains garter snakes, and auto skipper butterflies. Almost all gone now to farm and town and city, even before we knew all of the things a prairie could do. But if you want to see what a prairie might be, plant a pocket of prairie in your backyard or boulevard or boxes on a balcony. If you plant a pocket of prairie, who might come? Plant foxglove, beard tongue, a ruby-throated hummingbird might hover and sip and thrum. If that hummingbird sips and zips, look for something more to eat. Plant butterfly weed. Monarch butterflies may lay their eggs on the underside of the leaves. And when those monarch eggs hatch and the larvae turn into hungry butterflies, plant rough blazing star. Great Bangled fritillaries might show up too. If monarchs and fritillaries aren't enough for you, plant asters. Silver check spot butterflies might lay their eggs on the leaves. Your pocket of prairie might be full of blooming and buzzing and fluttering, but don't stop now. Plant purple cone flowers and joe pie weed and wait for Dakota skippers and swallowtails to flit and feed while you are waiting. Plant goldenrod. A great plains toad might flick its tongue at goldenrod soldier beetles. Not enough prairie for you yet? Plant cup plants. A thirsty chickadee might come to drink from a tiny leaf pool. Plant big blue stem and Indian grass. Grasshoppers might eat the grass before grasshopper mice eat the grasshoppers. More prairie still? Plant sunflowers and goldfinches might dine upside down. Plant bottle genetian. A bumblebee might battle inside, leaving only its bumblebee bottom sticking out. If your pocket of prairie grows big enough, plant prairie milkweed and hairy mountain mint and breathe sweet air. And Dixisle might build a nest and lay four pale blue eggs. A prairie skink might guard her eggs beneath a rock. A meadowlark might fly, calling chee 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 chee. If your pocket of prairie grows bigger still, who else might come? Who knows? <laughs> If you plant a pocket of prairie, and I plant a pocket of prairie, and everyone we know plants a pocket of prairie, and everyone they know plants a pocket of prairie, one day we might look out and see the prairie coming home. The end. There's lots of extra reading in the back. And this is the book we use at school when we're working on our garden, our prairie, out front. So this book is in the library, and um, if you can get your hands on it or want additional reading, come to my office hours, and I'll read you other parts of the book. Happy to read this book to you, my lovies. I hope you enjoyed it.